Welcome to our video where we unravel a fascinating question in the world of JavaScript development. Our viewer has been using Babel and wonders whether it's a compiler or a transpiler. This distinction might seem minor, but it can have significant implications for how we understand and use this powerful tool. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. Let's clarify the terms first. A transpiler is a type of compiler that converts source code from one language to another, typically at the same level of abstraction. In contrast, a compiler translates code from a high-level programming language to a lower-level language. Babel is primarily known as a transpiler because it transforms modern JavaScript, like ES6 and ES7, into ES5. This allows developers to use the latest features while maintaining compatibility with older browsers. However, Babel's website refers to it as a compiler. This is because the term compiler can encompass both the processes of transpilation and compilation. In this broader sense, Babel compiles modern JavaScript into a version that can be executed by JavaScript engines. In summary, you can think of Babel as both a transpiler and a compiler. It primarily serves as a transpiler for JavaScript, but it also fits the broader definition of a compiler. So the title on Babel's website is not incorrect. It reflects the broader capabilities of Babel while still focusing on its primary function as a transpiler. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Babel is a tool that can be described as both a transpiler and a compiler. It reads code from one programming language and converts it into equivalent code in another language. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.